It's not just 400,000 men. It's one man or one woman who left their children behind during World War II. My father, Lieutenant Kenneth Harry Underwood, is buried at Mattingly Cemetery, the American Cemetery, Mattingly, England, which is near Cambridge, England. He was uh, killed in his P-38 Lightning in World War II on the 18th of May in 1944. And uh, this is uh, really about him uh, and what he did. He was uh, out flying one day, getting ready for D-Day, and he was doing a lot of low-level maneuvering. And something happened with his P-38 Lightning. Uh, to this day, we don't know for sure. He tried to bring it in. Uh, he brought it into a field. It uh, spun and uh, crashed into an oak tree, and the oak tree won. His uh, plane exploded, and uh, quite a few pieces spread over quite a, uh, an area. Whatever happened, we don't know. But only he knows, and only he can tell me someday what happened. Come on, I ask him. <laughs> He's not the only one with a story like that. He's a story that gets publicized often, but there was hundreds, thousands of other men that gave their lives for their country, and uh, all of them need to be remembered, memorialized somehow. And I'm, I'm afraid that the American public doesn't really understand what, what was done. That World War II, there'll never be another one like it. I mean, um, I would hope that they would never forget the sacrifices by these men. Personally, I feel that it's important for Americans to go and visit these locations overseas because lots of times these men are forgotten, not thought about, but they're over there buried close to where they gave their lives for their country, where they gave that last full measure. And I think that it's definitely a different feeling being over there for, you know, in a military cemetery full of military men, all of whom gave their lives for their country. I look at those crosses, I look at those names, and there's a story behind every one of them. And it's a, it's a beautiful place. And when I first went there in 1971, I thought, oh my gosh, it's, it's like being in northeast Kansas, where my father grew up, where I grew up. And there was a field in the distance of flax, a yellow, it's just, just an absolutely beautiful place. And I'm glad he found a, a nice place to be. And, you know, I hope one day if I make it as a pilot in the Air Force, you know, flying combat, if I get the opportunity... I'll again continue to experience those same emotions that he experienced all those years ago, that same aircraft wearing that same uniform. He's just a guy that uh, wanted to do his duty and come home, as one of the fellows who flew with him said.